Hi, my name is Jan Langton and I am from Lindenhurst, Illinois. Lindenhurst is located about three miles south of the Wisconsin border near Lake Michigan. I am married with two daughters, both adopted from China. Katie is 22 and lives in LA and is an editor and a colorist for film. And Anna is a senior in high school looking forward to college next year. My husband and I are both from Manhattan, Kansas, the home of Kansas State University, where we both received our undergraduate degrees. My undergraduate degree is in physical science with an emphasis in biology and math. I started my first career at AT&T as an area manager and I oversaw managers who were in charge of various aspects of the Center for Learning, the large regional training center for AT&T for Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, and Missouri. I also was a senior project manager and a database manager for telecommunication systems and projects. While I was working at AT&T, we adopted Anna when she was 15 months old, and we knew right away she was not a typical child. Although we were never warned that by China, they said she was not special needs. We called in early intervention in Texas, where we were living at the time, and uh, they diagnosed her with severe apraxia and sensory integration disorder. Wisely, they instructed us to immerse her in all therapies that professionals would be providing to us. They cautioned us that the little brain is more pliable before the age of seven, so we needed to um, immerse her for that reason. With my biology background, I understood all the therapies and the purpose behind the therapies and being um, consumed by those therapies every day. More and more of our day was um, used to perform the therapies that were provided to us. I used my knowledge to transform them into life skill activities that would accomplish the same goal. In about four years, she was able to talk and we moved to Kansas City where we pursued even more therapies. And by the time we moved from there in 2015, we were noted as um, a case study for intensive early intervention and its profound effects on um, a child with autism. And it was finally diagnosed with um, high functioning autism, old school Asperger's when she was eight years old. Now, Anna is a senior in high school, an honor student in gen ed classes, and is being sought after by many colleges with scholarships. And um, it's been a long road, but quite rewarding. It wasn't until we moved here in 2015 that someone approached me about doing ABA. And it occurred to me, and obviously it occurred to them, that basically the things I had done with Anna in the past fell right in line with ABA. So here I am at Ball State, hoping to finish my degree in August of this year and then sit for my exam in February. I am uh, currently working for an ABA company that is centered out of uh, Chicago area and my clients include um, two-year-olds through age 15 and I do home-based therapy.